Hello, good morning, and welcome to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, The Juice Review Show, brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Now, the three juices I want to show you today are Purity E-Liquid. Um, they're, from the, they're from an American company, but these are distributed exclusively to the UK. Um, it's from an American company called Halo. Um, unfortunately, due to the fact that there was already a Halo in the UK, they had to go with the name Purity. Um, all three bottles today are a three milligram, and I'm not sure on the ratios. Hopefully, I'll have a little look at that one or do the review. I've got to state for the record, any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I've not paid for the product. As a matter of fact, I won these bottles on a competition on Twitter. So I must thank the guys at Purity E Liquids for these. Um, please also state for the record, personal tastes personal setups and also personal power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally review what I get from the juice. That being said, weapon of choice today will be the RX23, which I have got to do a massive shout out to the guys, especially Daniel at various baps in Golson High Street who um, resoldered my connection point on here. We all know it's a common problem with the 23 that there's a little blob of solder and it really isn't enough how they originally did it and mine snapped through the solder and Daniel very kindly soldered that back on for me so I must have a big thanks to the guys and that has got the Mako dripper dual coiled to 0.2 right go through the bottles and the safety and the blah 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 as I always do at the start straight away industry standard as it should be for every single bottle of juice you get child proof lid um, it, it, it's, I like the colour of the bottle. Um, if you hold it up to the light, you can see where you are actually on the bottle for levels, so you don't have that nasty shock for those bottles that you can't see through when you go, oh shit, I've run out, and you didn't know because you couldn't see. Uh, if you do hold it up to the light, you can see if there's any little fluty bits in it as well, so it's it's a nice enough colour, but it's a nice enough colour when held up to the light that you can actually see the juice inside, which is okie dokie with me. Labels, labels, labels. Um, on the front, which is our, our design, uh, what strength, and also how much is in the bottle. Uh, American made, premium, premium e liquid, established 2009. On the back, we've got a nice little bit of info there. So we've got the name, we've got the volume, and we've got the nicotine level. We've got nicotine level twice. Uh, toxic in contact with skin. Store locked up, keep out the rich of children. If on skin, wash with plenty of soap and water. To be fair, that'll be, that's all you need to do. Uh, call a doctor. A poison centre if feeling unwell. If medical advice is needed, have product container or label at hand. Dispose of contents container to comply with applicable local, national and international regulations. <coughs> One thing that does I uh, would like to see on here is a um, must be of legal smoking age to use this product. That's not on there. <coughs> no real warning about pets and aquatic life. I could do with seeing a little bit more on here to be on here. Uh, we've got the skull and crossbones. That's about it. I still would like to see the not for sale for under 18s and the, and the uh, uh, danger hazardous to the environment. Uh, made in the USA, uh, it's distributed by Nico Pure Labs and they're, and they're in the Netherlands. It's got a batch number and it's got a best before date. So I'm 50 50 with this. I could do with seeing a little bit more warnings on here. But also with the TPD covered, obviously this is going to shrink down to a 10 mil bottle and all the warnings will be either on the bottle, on the box, or on the leaflet that will have to come with it from May the 20th onwards. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, other thing I would say, um, I don't know if you can just see on there, you can just see there's a raised triangle. Now, a little while, quite a while back, it was decided that anything under 25 milligrams of Nick, I do believe, did not require one of them. But I'm kind of glad it's there, especially for um, our short-sighted friends and some people that have trouble with vision because it's a tactile triangle and you, you know then it's a bottle that you've got to be careful with because you can just feel. So I, I, I'd rather see it on bottles, to be honest. 
but I am glad it's there. Right. I have got stuff for the record now. I've got to do. I've got to do a disclaimer now. All right, just before I crack on with this review. All three of these are tobacco. I don't like tobacco. I don't like strong tobacco. I don't mind fruity tobacco. I don't mind mild tobacco. But I don't like strong tobacco. So if at any point during this review you see me pull a face like this, it's because they've got it. It's not because it's bad. It's not because it's horrible. It's because they've probably got the tobacco very right. And yeah, I mean, two days ago, was it two days? No, question. Three days ago, I celebrated my fifth anniversary. My fifth babe anniversary was three days ago. With all the comes and goes of Christmas, I absolutely totally forgot about it. But just that, still that taste of tobacco. Just, But that's just me personally. You might ask, and that actually quite legitimately asked now, why did you go into a competition where the prize was tobacco flavoured juices? Well, to be fair, after this review, these are all going to people who I know like tobacco juices. But <clears throat> as, a, as a general rule, it won't be something I'd go out and buy. But I'm just doing a review to, sh to show you guys what they're like. Right, um, I'm going to start with, I'm gonna start with you, Voodoo. If you do. Other thing, I'm sorry, one other thing. I'll, I'll, I was going to get on to it anyway, but I've got to show you this. And you can see on there, these droppers are brilliant. They hold <coughs> just over one mil. But there's actual markings on there, which makes when you've finished your bottle, these are superb for any home brewers or DIYers out there. If you want to get those little contact measures where you only need like half a mil or a quarter of a mil, all the markings are up there 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1 mil. <coughs> so for the more intricate recipes you're doing where you just need that little bit extra. This is absolutely superb. Right, anyway, voodoo. Wow. Not really getting the smell of the tobacco. What I am getting, I'm definitely getting grape. I'm getting vanilla. Cool. And there's another fruit in there which I'm not quite sure about. Um, that smell nice, mind you. Not quite sure what that is. Hmm. It smells very fruity, and I'm not really getting a lot of tobacco f from that. It suits me down to the ground. <coughs> but the fruit might be masking the tobacco from the smell. It is a tobacco colour liquid. It's that kind of brownie mm, colour. That you always get. Right, here we go. Now, we're going to start off at... Uh, 68.6, which is 3.7, but basically what your basic ego battery would be pumping out at. Cloud production is, is really good. Um, hang on, sorry, look, I didn't get the drip on this. There's a little hang there. I'll probably give it less than 65 VG. Borderline 70, but I'll probably go more 65, 35 for that one. VG, PG. Cloud production superb. There is a bit of a fruit here. It's not massive, but it's just enough to let you know you're taking it in. Flavour. On the inhale, there's a black currant grapey. Ah, hang on, hang on. Nah, there's the tobacco. Yeah, on the inhale, there's this black currant grape that goes in. 
and the exhale there is a flavour I generally have not had while vaping which is plum kind of a vanillary plum and once all that's died out you do get the tobacco taste right at the very end when all the, when all the actual fruitiness has died down it's a good one it's quite it's quite actually a strong one but it's amazing it's been amazingly masked by all the actual fruit that goes in the first part that fruit here that does make you feel like you have had a drag on a cigarette but the fruit does disguise a lot you get the fruit here and you go oh I'm getting fruit here on fruit and then as the fruit die out that tobacco just goes and it is kind of every exhale afterwards is just cigarette which for me is not great but for those who like tobacco they're going to actually get on fine with this if you like a rather posh cigarette it is rather posh tobacco mm. yeah, just that end in the middle for me for me all right just tobacco fans are going to like this me personally, like, nice, nice, nice. <coughs> right, we're going to go up to 80.2 watts, which is now 4 volts. Still good cloud, good deduction. Throat hit has gone up a little bit. Actually, throat hit has gone up quite a bit, actually. Ah, yeah, tobacco comes through a lot quicker. Tobacco comes through completely on the exhale now with the plum and the vanilla. Still got that quite that nice beginning bit, but it is very shortened now on the actual transition period. It's not as separated, it's more in black current, great, which is nice. Oh plum, vanilla, which is nice, but now that, that tobacco comes in with that as well, and do get left with a real strong tobacco taste in the mouth now. Real singy taste. It is more of a vanilla, actually, to be fair, the plum dies off quite quick on the exhale now. It is more of a, a very cigarette, um, vanilla tobacco on the way out. Which is, you're into your tobaccos, you're into vanillas, you're going to like that. I'm going to go up to 4.2. I'm probably going to regret this, actually, but I'm going to go up to 4.2 anyway. Right, we'll go up to 88.4 watts, so basically a full battery on a single 18650 meg. <coughs> throat here is really faggy <laughs> it's really cigarette -y. all all the fruits seem to hit once and yeah that tobacco comes through it mate it seems like it goes in it sits in the back of the fruit and as you breathe out that tobacco flavour is activated I do feel a little bit rough in the fruit mainly because yeah it's backy <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably say, yep, yeah, lower, lower down. Well, personally for me, because I'm not as much of a tobacco fan, I'd go lower down. But that tobacco fan, it is a very good tobacco, but it's just not a flavour I'm really great with anymore. But, yeah, if you want a posh... That's not the one. Yeah, if you want a posh one, I'd go for that Voodoo from Purity. That is actually, on the fruit side, it's really nice. And with that added bonus, if you're a tobacco fan, of the tobacco as well. Yeah, you're going to like that. I'm going to give this a blowout. Ugh, ugh. I have got the taste of backy in my mouth now. Right, we're going to move on to the Midnight Apple. Oh, excuse me. It's making me burp. <laughs> Now this one seems to be a bit more watery to be honest. Um, uh, I think I'll go for a 50-50 on this one to be honest. It's, it might even be a uh, 
60-40 PGVG. I think there's more, there's either 50-50 or 60-40, but it's more in favour of PG than it is of uh, VG. Smells gorgeous. Smells like a smoky apple. Alright, we'll go back down to 3.7. Goes on back to 68.4 watts. Ah, there's the bow. Right. No throw hit on this one. So that's a bonus for me. Um, good Clyde production. Very smooth, very voluptuous clouds come out from there. It's very clean clouds. Apple, 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 apple. It's like there's a party at Granny Smith's house. It's a very nice apple. Oh, and there comes that tobacco. Oh. You do get hit mainly with the apple first. That, and it is a really nice, crisp, juicy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. apple. Once again, on the exhale, you kind of get the tobacco flavour. It does kind of creep in towards the end of the inhale, but then it's mainly the exhale is the dying em emblems of the apple, and then this tobacco. It's a very strong tobacco on this one, I will admit. If you're into that sort of thing, you're going to love this. It's just like when you used to walk into the old tobacconists when they used to have them. They used to have more like drawers or loose backing in drawers. That kind of smell and. Mm. Hello, yes, and I'm back. Oh, I do like to apologise for that interruption, everybody. Um, you know when you're sitting there and you think, I'm waiting for vape mail, I'm waiting for vape mail, I'm waiting for vape mail, and you get something and then you realise it's not vape mail and it pisses you off. Well, that's just what's happened to me. Anyway, back to where I was. Yes, apple, midnight apple. Oh, find the bottle. There we are. All right. Well, I did it at 3.7, so I'm now going to go up to 4. We'll give myself a little bit of a top up. Overall, as I say, at 3.7. The apple is really good, uh, but I say as it comes out of the inhale <coughs> and into the outhale, exhale in, uh, outhale, <coughs> into the exhale, very strong tobacco on that one. But like I said, it's more like a tobacco, to the old tobacco, this straws type flavoured tobacco. Right, it'll go up to four. And that's at 80.1 watts. Here we go. Hmm. Actually, the apples got stronger. It's kind of knocked the tobacco flavour back down a bit. There it comes. It does take longer for the tobacco to come to actually fight its way through the strength of the apple. It's a really nice apple, I've got to admit. Mm. Apple wise, I'm not sure. There's a little bit of menthol in there as well. Kind of very slight, but and, and uh, as I say, it pushes it to back right. I could quite happily do that one at four volts, probably higher as well, because I've got to film the apples going and then blitz the tobacco for myself. If you're a tobacco fan, I'll go lower down on this one. It is such a strong tobacco that comes out at the end of this. I'm going to go up to 4.2, get a little bit of a throat hit more at four, we'll go to 88.1 or 4.2. Funny enough, at 4.2 you actually get apple and tobacco together. It's a bit weird, I was actually anticipating the tobacco getting pushed back. Maybe it's because it blended in a bit better with the apple. 
that the apple was so strong, so I didn't really taste the tobacco until the end bit. Yeah, this is a pure tobacco, apple tobacco now. Gives a bit more of a smoky edge to the apple. I will admit it's actually still not too bad. It still does leave that tobacco taste in my mouth, so it's not one I'd personally go for. But, yeah, if you like apple tobacco, I'd give that one a go. Midnight apple is its not bad, I've got to admit. And I'm not a tobacco fan, but I mean, if you're, if you're a really heavy tobacco fan, you'd rather just have a hint of fruit, I'd go lower down on it. The tobacco does shine through quite well. Yeah, that's not bad. Hang on, I oh, should be back again. This might be my band. We're back again. I do apologise for this today. This is very unusual. Um, ah, they, they're my precious. <laughs> I'll open that at the end for you. This is going to be the next review. Um, oh, mwah. anyway, where the hell was it? Um, oh, I've lost the plot here. Um, oh, yes, that's what it. Last one. And the last one today will be Tiki Juice. Now I couldn't actually find this one on the website, I had to do a little bit of searching to find out any info on this one at all. Um, oh dear, I've just lost the plot, right, let's give this a blowout and then we'll give this last one on. Oh, there she goes, go, bang. <laughs> right, PG, PG. A little hang on that. I'll no. I'll probably go for once again around about 50 50 for this one. Oh, I smell menthol. Oh, I don't mind menthol. I like menthol. I smell tobacco as well. Ugh. Uh, but very sweet tobacco. I'm not sure if I'm getting pineapple in that. Oh, that's a bit bizarre. Yeah, here we go. Alright, let's knock this down again. Alright, we're going back to 68.3 or 3.7 volts. Oh, mental. Definitely get the menthol. There's a hint in the pineapple. There's a slight warming to this one as well. There's no fruit hit, and as you can see, the clouds have kept up to the standards of the other two bottles. So there's a little bit of cinnamon in this. And as I smell, a very sweet tobacco. That's unusual. That is unusual, and I can quite happily vape that. It's actually making my mouth as well. That pineapple is really. Just it doesn't come across like a cigarette. Mmm. That's very unusual. And very nice. Mmm. No, I've got to four on this. The me nothing's overdone there, it's just like a hint of cinnamon. The menthol doesn't blast you out, it's just there to add a little effect to the actual flavour. You've got the mouth water and pineapple. And, I say, and then this sweet tobacco. This is unusual, I haven't really had a sweet tobacco before. Right, going up to. S uh, 80 watts or 4 volts. Oh, got a little throat hit right there. More sweet this time. Cinnamon comes in, I think that's what that little bit of throat hit was. It is a little bit of the cinnamon flavouring. And then just this cool menthol. 
not really getting a backy taste of a mouth. This is more of them. It's combined in and blended to make this just whole new flavour. It's weird because you brew like cinnamon and menthol, which is a weird sensation that reminds me to a lesser degree of like um, Spider's Venom from Vape Monkey. Mmm, that's nice. It really is nice. Inhale, yet, yeah, alright, you do get that backy flavour. But as I say, it's sweetened, so it takes a little bit of the harshness off it. As I say, then you've got the menthol, which just gently kills it. And then, weirdly enough, you've got the cinnamon, which generally warms it. <laughs> it is a bit bizarre. And it's kind of tropical. It's like pineapple taste. Aftertaste is a bit stale, faggy. Once everything dies down, you do get a bit. Mm. If you're not used to the tobacco. But all in all, that's a bloody nice juice, really. Because I am coming from a not tobacco fan. I mean, I haven't touched a tobacco vape properly in mm. four and a half years. So it's not one that would trigger me. Let's put it that way. That's nice. Higher up, the tobacco does come through a lot more. But lower down, I could quite happily make that all day. I might not be giving that bottle away. Sod them. <laughs> That's nice. Um, yep, yeah, so um, on behalf of myself, Dan Stone, I'd like to thank the guys at Purity and for sending me as a competition prize. Um, two of these bottles will be going to uh, friends of mine who are into tobacco. Uh, Tiki Juice is staying with me. That's actually quite nice and has shocked me. Um, all I need to do now is to open my vape mail. Mm -hmm, vape mail, I love you. Watch this now, watch this. I've got no scissors. This is going to go horribly wrong. Oh my god, god. Ah! Oh, for Oh, we have a box. We have a box. We have plastic that does not rip to save its ass. Oh, what we got here? Oh. Like I said, this will be the next review coming up. Uh, that's been very kindly sent to me by Steam Juice from the United States. Pasadena, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. Oh, heck, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got seven bowls, so it's going to be three part review. And they're all falling out, so I'll just well, get them out. That's lovely patching. Someone's threaded their Christmas decorations. We will have the very Greek berry. Ambrosia, Breakfast of Champs. Oh, I've got four more in here as well. Wow. Uh, Jerry Juice. Now, you might not. Uh, you might look. You seem really excited about this. Um, I did a review for this company two years ago in um, 2014, and um, yeah. Um, Jerry Juice was one of the ones I did, so I'm very interested to see what, the, what how the company's progressed in two years. Uh, we also have is that Britney's American Pie, Nihai, and last but not least, Thick Vanilla Custard. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that. I was like, that will be the next re next three reviews coming up there. So, on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and an even better New Year from myself, Darren Stone, and all at the Department of Inhaled Vapours. Goodbye.